Hello, my name is Hannah, and I am I and I am a pansexual. Let me make clear that this does not mean I am in love with pans. In truth, there are some pans that are pretty great. You know, just the kind that you love to cook with. I understand. But no, that is not what this is about. What this is about, this is actually my audition video for the recovery tag or for the LGBTQ tag that, um, the long way to recovery and recovery is beautiful. Those Tumblr users are, have put out a, you know, they want people to audition. I will put a link to where you can audition and where you can and you, what video you can put, post your video response to or their or even their um their Tumblr pages their submitting their submit box so what i am auditioning for is a role in um what i'm auditioning for is a role in you know whatever really i can do both recovery and lgbtq stuff i understand people go through a hard time but i i haven't necessarily had those the same experiences as a lot of people have such as self-harm and you know the feeling of being abandoned because i've had a pretty well-rounded family who were pretty supportive of me in times when I thought I was a lesbian and you know even now when I told them I'm actually pansexual um, so I can talk about that and if you just need help then I can always list certain like certain hotlines because I do have a link to hotlines that I can use and I can always find more and you know, and if you just need a good cheer up, then you know, just it's fine if you want to talk to me, send me a question, and I will definitely help you out through a rough patch. But I think the better position for me to be in would be the LGBT, would be the LGBTQ tag. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just saying I might be the best option. Um, now, something a little, a little something about me is that I am quite bubbly. I know you probably don't, you can't probably tell from my videos because of the awful lighting and from, you know, I'm actually really trying with this lighting. There's got lights over there, got a light up here I actually just put in today. Um, I am bubbly and I do try to be bubbly. It's just a little harder to do when it's just me. It's easier to do when I'm with friends. But uh, yeah. So I think I I could do well in either, but I think I would do better in the LGBTQ tag because I can I can talk to friends who are I have at least one friend of each community and I could always have them you know come join me so we can talk and discuss and like you know maybe like one week I will talk about the the lesbians another the gays bisexuals the questioner and then we'll definitely talk about asexuals and pansexuals because I there is quite a bit behind those two sexualities that need to be discussed because even the fuck hate group I I mean I I'm, I'm not sure if they've taken it back or if they had been hacked before but I had seen somewhere that they did not quite identify with the asexuals and the pansexuals they didn't think that it that those were really they didn't think that they were all that good or no but the fuck from what I had seen the fuck hate group just did not get the concept of asexuality and pansexuality and that's something that kind of offends me 
But you know what? Whatever. So definitely when I come to the pansexual part, I would... I would... I would mention my own experience because that is the one area where I've had an experience with and it was actually quite brutal. I mean, it wasn't to the point where I've been beaten up like I know some people have. But, you know, I got a negative comment and it really made me upset. But I'm going to reserve that for if I do get a slot in this. And if I don't, then I'll just go on my own channel and talk about it. Now, as far as, like, I I was told that there is a certain, you know, it's kind of like gays of the week, but, you know, with recovery and, L and other LGBTQ stuff, LG and other LGBTQ stuff as well. So, the only day, really, where I have the free time and I'm not busy that day, or I try not to be busy, and I also try to make, r make room for this, for that particular for that particular day on uh, for my other videos but you know whatever I would say the free time I have would be on a Saturday that is when no one is home that's when I'm not at school and I just have more time myself <clears throat> so yeah um, that is me a little more about myself is that I'm 18, I am pansexual, and I want to be a makeup artist. So if you go on my own channel, you'll probably see, at least nowadays, a little more makeup tutorials. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice here. Um, I've been around a lot of dust today, I did a lot of cleaning, and I'm not feeling too well. And I'm noticing it's now just starting to go. And I feel really bad because I've been looking forward to doing this video for a little while now. Um, but yeah, that's a, little, that's a little bit about me. Oh yeah, I also want to be a pinup model. And that is another thing in of, a, of itself, to be, a pin, to be a model when you're my size and shape. I mean, maybe it's not necessarily my size. Like, yeah, there are bigger models out there. And bigger than the usual ones you see on media. But then I'm also pear shaped, so I don't get much of a curve. But yes, there are just several things about me where, you know, it, like, I can help out more in recovery as far as being a bigger person or having a lack of confidence goes. Because for the last 17 years of my life, I haven't had much confidence and until this year I started having a little more. I think what really did it was my makeup coming out so nice nowadays and that makes me pretty happy because I love doing my makeup. But yes, that's a little bit about myself and I hope you you consider me to take this Saturday role. I would take any other role and I'd be happy to change it but I'm in my last year of school and like once I'm out of school I'm sure there's like a, there will be another day I could take but for right now it has to be Saturday and I'm really sorry but yes that's what I would like to do I would like to help out in the LGBT the LGBTQ community the and the recovery for self-confidence and I'm also I also can find a kajillion numbers for help for help hotlines for recovery hotlines whatever and you know just some good support groups to go to I can definitely find numbers for all of those so definitely the first two the LGBTQ and the self-confidence recovery I can definitely do that I, I'm just going to do Saturday I'm really sorry, and I hope you do consider me for this part, and thank you so much, and I am looking forward to hearing back, and I'm going to go because my voice is sounding hella bad. Alright, so bye!